Three, two, one. Hey guys, one. Poverty Point Customs here. Just going over my uh, new to me uh, radio controlled uh, gas powered helicopter and uh, just noticed a few things that I'm going to have to uh, address before it's uh, ready to be flown again. The battery pack inside the helicopter seems to hold a charge, but it's quite weak so. Underneath all that is the uh, battery pack. I'm going to need to replace the elastics. I'm going to check all the uh, fittings on all the servos, all the uh, little white arms. Uh, usually over a couple years, uh, especially 30 some years, they can get uh, quite brittle. Now the thing I noticed is the linkage right there uh, that's for your motor for your throttle is uh, broken I'm gonna have to put a new linkage on there um, another thing I noticed which is uh, hopefully not catastrophic but when you're starting these uh, your uh, starter hooks onto this spins and spins this here which is a shaft to your motor and uh, that's not turning right now so it's either uh, seized from sitting or the uh, the motor seized so that's something I'm gonna have to uh, look into to see if I can actually free free that up so again right in there he isn't spinning and that's how you actually uh, start the motor so that's something I'm gonna have to look at uh, another thing the uh, your cable, which goes back to your uh, rear tail fin, seems to be uh, quite loose, and it uh, works that linkage right there. Um, so I think I can resolve that by just putting a something simple as a, a cable tie. Because what's happening is when you're uh, when you're adjusting the uh, rear blade, this here is moving up and down. And it's just not getting the uh, full movement in the uh, back uh, tail fin. Another thing I got to replace is the batteries in the uh, remote control controller. As you can see, they've uh, seen better days. Now I would say these are probably original, so they're holding a charge, but I certainly wouldn't trust them. And those batteries would have been 31 years old now if they are original, which I believe they are. I'm going to see if I can find a uh, date on them. So I'm going to get uh, new batteries for this, new batteries for the plane, check all the, uh, again, the uh, servo uh, linkages, uh, replace the uh, bands on the receiver and the uh, battery inside the uh, helicopter and I'm also going to check they look to be in decent shape but as you can see you can see the fuel lines right there so I'm going to go over all the uh, fuel lines and uh, make sure they're okay. This is the other side um, in testing all the uh, servos they all seem to be functioning uh, as they should which is uh, great news that means the uh, servos and the receiver is fine. I'm going to have to uh, find out how to uh, test the gyro, but that may be more uh, in flight. Again, you can see the uh, it's an OS, OS Max uh, 25 motor. And there's the uh, fuel tank inside there. So I'm going to uh, take off the uh, screen here and uh, start doing some research inside there. And again, checking all the fittings. Um, again, the uh, most important thing is uh, getting that motor to uh, turn over. So hopefully it's not going to be a uh, big deal, but something i got to look into. And uh, another thing I have to do is get a new battery for the uh, flight box, which is no big deal. That's just as simple as uh, getting a motorcycle battery or using my booster pack. Let's see at top of the uh, rotor. Now you can the uh, short video just uh, showing where I'm at right now. And again, that's just a uh, another view inside. 
Hope you like the video, and if you do, and you want to follow the uh, journey of this, you may want to uh, consider uh, subscribing and hitting that notification button. Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great day now.